He has the laceration to the head. In the middle of the day, a violent suspected road rage attack took over the breakdown lane of 495 in Bolton. State police say someone called 911 about a fight. Then police found a tractor trailer driver who had been attacked with a hammer and seriously hurt. <laughs> What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Run on the channel to be. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe button whenever you pull up to the channel. And while you at it, hit that post notification button for your boy so whenever I drop, you can hop up in the truck and roll with me. See what's poppin'. How's everybody doing today, fam? Man, it's another TGIF. You hear me? Hey, man, we on and popping, baby. It's the weekend, man. We finna go get our chill on, man. Got another, been blessed with another good week of work, man. So, hey, salute to all y'all M2T, you know. Sit back, go to the house, get your chill on, regroup, do it all over again next week. You hear me? All right. As you guys know, on Friday, M2T has implemented a segment where we like to get, we like to end the week off by giving honors to some of our truckers. Today, we're going to give honors to two of them. The first one, Michelle Moretti, a native of Indianapolis, Indiana. On November 29th, 2023, around 1.55 a.m., trucker Michelle Moretti was traveling on the highway 270 in Hazelwood, Missouri, when she noticed a body laying in the left lane of the highway. As she slowed down to pull over, she observed a crashed motorcycle a little ways down the road where the body was. She gets out of her truck and see that the guy is alive, but in a lot of pain. The injured cyclist asked her to please call my girlfriend, which she did, and she also called the police. The cyclist had hit the median and crashed. Thanks to God, Trucker Michelle was coming down that highway at that moment. She called the police, she called paramedics, and stayed with that cyclist until they got there and gave him the medical services that he needed. Our second driver, Stephanie Miller, a native of Georgia, was traveling on I-75 in Punta Gorda, Florida, February 21st, 2024, around 12.15 a.m., when he observed the vehicle pass him up at a high speed as him and the other vehicle crossed over a bridge he noticed the car hit a bump and smoke came out the car from everywhere as he got closer to the car he noticed that the car was engulfed in flames he immediately pulled his truck over grabbed his fire extinguisher and started extinguishing up under the car he noticed flames still coming up out the hood so he asked the driver to pop the hood the driver popped the hood and he doused the engine with with his fire extinguisher, the flames were still coming. Went to his truck, grabbed some gallons of water, and put out the rest of the fire with the gallons of water. Called the 911, firefighters came out, and they seen to that driver and made sure that he got the proper assistance that he needed. So, to trucker Michelle Moretti out of Indianapolis, and the trucker Stephen Miller out of Georgia, over at M2T, you guys are what we call MVTs, Most Valuable Truckers. And we want to let you know we appreciate you, we honor you, and it's a pleasure to give you guys acknowledgement on this day. Salute, truckers. Job well done. M2T, we will be back with the story after these messages and a few short words from our partners. What's up, M2T fam? Merch is available now. We have styles for the men and the ladies. Visit our catalog and check out our inventory. What you waiting for? Go to MarriedToTrucking.store. We are going live. M2T is going live March 31st, Easter Sunday, baby. The first live of the channel. 
Don't miss it. We got giveaways, hats, shirts, yeah, yeah, merch. It's all yours. Cash and discount. It's going down. 7 p.m. Central Time, March 31st. Be there or be square. It's your boy. Vicious scammers are constantly seeking and lurking to steal your identity from the internet. Our partners, Aura, specializes in protecting your social security number, passwords, and email by sending you an alert in real time when your information is compromised. So click on the link in the description box below and go to Aura.com slash Married to Trucking to sign up for a free, yes, free 14-day trial. Trust me, you won't regret it. Hey, Run, now back to the story. As all you guys know, as truck drivers, we all done had our first year of road rage altercations and incidents. What makes this so unique, road raging, is you never know who you gonna be dealing with on the other side of that stick. For instance, on March 28, 2023, where two damn fools <laughs> that were truckers, who knew better, was caught on camera on a Louisiana highway attempting to run each other off the side of the road in broad daylight. Fortunately, no one was hurt in this incident and both drivers was arrested and charged with reckless operation of a motor vehicle and aggravated obstruction of a highway. Mm -hmm. And what about just recently on March 3rd, 2024, two truck drivers was caught on camera having an all out cowboys and Indians shootout on a Florida interstate in the middle of the night. All because one of them cut the other one off on the lane and threw a water, a water bottle at him. Fortunately, no one was hurt on that one. The one that was aggressive did get arrested and he got arrested and charged with a plethora of charges. And we cannot forget you guys, March 19, 2022, in broad daylight on a Maryland highway, when tow truck driver, 29 year old Delante Hicks was caught on camera having a verbal altercation with a guy that was weaving in and out of traffic. Delante camera caught the driver opening fire on Delante Hicks, unfortunately murdering him right there on the scene. If anybody was on that Maryland highway on March 19, 2022, and think they saw anything or heard anything, please get a Maryland Police Department a call because this idiot is still out here on our streets. Which brings us to today's story. On March 25th, 2024, in Baltimore, Massachusetts, on Route 495, around 2 p.m., a truck driver who is being described as a 28-year-old Tom McClain from Maine crossed paths with a Volkswagen on the highway. Words was exchanged, you guys, between the trucker and the driver. Both pulled over to talk, and when they did that, things Escalated very quickly and fast. Check this out. He has the laceration to the head. In the middle of the day, a violent suspected road rage attack took over the breakdown lane of 495 in Bolton. State police say someone called 911 about a fight. Then police found a tractor trailer driver who had been attacked with a hammer and seriously hurt. And he is being treated for serious injuries here at the hospital tonight. And thanks to another truck driver, state police were able to quickly arrest his alleged attackers. I saw like wailing on him. After the attack, the driver was standing outside his truck talking with troopers. But moments earlier, Kevin Roach was driving by just as that driver became the victim of a violent assault. I look and I see these three individuals with a golf bag, golf clubs, just kind of with a guy on the ground, just getting hammered. Kevin pulled over, running to help the victim, and then the suspects took off. They had 
jumped back into their car and driven away. And that's when I recorded the video. He says the suspects got into this VW, speeding off southbound on 495 in Bolton right around 2. A short time later, police found the car arresting two men in Marlboro. One was taken to the hospital because of injuries he suffered. Outside, troopers appeared to collect more evidence. Weapon involved was a hammer. He has the laceration to the head from the hammer. State police say the suspects used a hammer to attack the tractor trailer driver, but it's not clear what sparked the violent road rage. Truck drivers are just not respected. For other truck drivers, the chilling attack is a reminder of the dangers that they can encounter on the road. It seems to me like uh, road rage is becoming like really bad. It makes me scared. Two Massachusetts men face assault charges after alleged hammer attack on truck driver. Boston, Massachusetts. Two Massachusetts men are facing assault and battery with a dangerous weapon charges after they attacked a tractor trailer driver with a hammer during an incident on Interstate 495 on Monday, according to the Massachusetts State Police. MSP officials said that shortly before 2 p.m. on Monday, state troopers responded to a report about an altercation in the breakdown lane of I-495 south of Bolton. Javier Vargas, 23, of Draycut, was charged with two counts of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and single count of disorderly conduct. Juan Marlin, 28, also of Draycut, was charged with two counts of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and a single count of disorderly conduct. Kevin Roach said he witnessed the attack as he was driving by in his own big rig stopped to help the other truck driver, a 28-year-old man from Maine. I look and I see three individuals with golf bags, golf clubs, just kind of with a guy on the ground just getting hammered, Rose said. The tractor trailer driver was transported to Leo Minster Hospital where he remains at this time, according to state police. Investigators from the Leo Minster State Police Barack said the assault stemmed from alleged road rage. State police said the two assailants fled the scene in a Volkswagen GT hatchback before troopers arrived. They had jumped back into their car and drove away. And that's when I recorded the video, Rose said. The Volkswagen was spotted in Marlboro a short time later and the two men were arrested, state police said. Police said the men attacked the victim by hitting him in the head with a hammer and causing serious injuries. Marin and Vargas, who are brother-in-laws, said the tractor trailer driver was weaving in and out of traffic and that he waved at them to pull over. After they pulled over, Marin said the altercation began when the truck driver pushed Vargas. He hit him first, and it was like to defend myself and my brother-in-law, Marin said. When I was in the middle, he got the hammer and hit me in the head. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. My boy said he got the hammer and hit me. Mary said he needed staples to close the cut in his head that was opened with the hammer. He also said he never hit the tractor dr trailer driver with a hammer, but he did admit to punching him several times. State police confirmed that one of the assailants was treated at Marlboro Hospital for injuries he suffered during the attack. A female who was also in the Volkswagen at the time it was stopped in Marlboro was not charged in the connection with the assault, according to the state police. There it is right there, him to take Hey, Mary said, hey, he clubbed me, man. That, that trucker wasn't playing no games. But I'm going to tell y'all something. It, it's it's like a give and a take, M2T, because it, like the, the, this is what they said. I don't know, allegedly. This is what Mary told the people, that the truck driver told them to pull over. So we want to talk about that, man. Uh, the trucker that saw everything, Kevin Roach. He said he's just driving and he see two dudes hammering the mess out of the truck. Now, this is what I want to know. Which one of y'all who would have drove by seeing that would have stopped like Kevin did, like trucker Kevin did, and helped y'all brother and y'all see him over there on the ground getting getting pummeled by two other guys? Who would have stopped and helped? I need to know that. 
You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I can't just sit there and just watch that go down like that. You know, just keep on, oh, 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 that ain't my business. I'm gone. <laughs> you know, some of us do that. It ain't my business. You know, but some of us like Kevin. Now, nah, man, we ain't finna, man. Hey, 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 man. I didn't call the police, man. It, enough is enough, man. And some of us would have, you know, would have got went to work. You know what I'm saying? We would have went to work with our brother. You know, you know what I'm saying? Grab, grab a reflector or some arm or something. <laughs> Shine them up. <laughs> but you ain't finna just keep handling my brother like that, man. Um, it seemed like they, they just started grabbing all kind of stuff. Now, the trucker that told him to pull over, who's in the hospital. If, if he, I mean, you got to be careful with, on this, this road rage is something serious. You got to be careful when you telling people, you know, pull over, pull over. And thinking ain't nobody going to pull over, man. You can't just be out there just telling people to pull over and think they want. And then you actually pull over. We do have footage with them doing a news report and interview. Telling their side of the story about court dates and them going to court and, and they side. So let's check it out. Right, in fact, both suspects were arraigned today on two counts of assault and battery and one count of disorderly conduct. But they say this whole road rage incident is one bis big misunderstanding. And it was a truck driver that attacked them first. I never hit him with, with the Hummer. Never. 28-year-old Juan Marin hopes to clear his name. After a road rage incident on 495 he was involved in, sent a truck driver to the hospital. According to my victim here, there was no shots fired. He did not see any weapons. The weapon involved was a hammer. He has a, a laceration to the head from the hammer. That was his. 23-year-old Javier Gutierrez Vargas and Marin, both of Drakeit, were arraigned today in Clinton District Court. Police say the two men attacked a truck driver with a hammer in the breakdown lane of 495 southbound around 2 p.m. on Monday. I mean, a dangerous weapon to it, a metal camping chair, assault and beat Tom McLean. But Merrim says that's not how it happened. Instead, he says a 28-year-old truck driver from Maine signaled him to pull over. You can see from the cell phone video the truck driver pointing his finger. When all three get out of the car, Merrim says the truck driver came after him and his brother-in-law with a hammer. He hit him first, and after, and after that, I was trying to, to, uh, I don't know, defend defend, 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 yeah, defend, defend. And, and I don't hit him with the hammer. He hit me with the hammer. Marin says he received several stitches to his head. The truck driver, who's been identified as Tom McLean of Maine, was also taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Inside court, the judge released both Marin and his brother-in-law Vargas on their own personal recognizance. So bad. I never was arrested in my first time. In Def defense attorney says both men have no criminal record. They're due back in court on May 14th for a pretrial hearing. Who y'all believe? I mean, who y'all think is guilty or not? I guess M2T. I mean, the man head got split wide open. And Marion, the, the brother, one of the one of the dudes, the big one. He say that, you know, he didn't hit the dude to him, the dude hit him. You know, he say, you know. The truck drivers, you know, our trucker brother started everything at the, at the gate. You know, what it seemed like to me, and this is my opinion, it seemed like the trucker and the, and the little one, the small brother-in-law was doing their thing. And that trucker had that ham on him. You know what I mean? So the big one got in the middle. This is what they saying. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? And when he got in the middle, <laughs> the truck, the trucker, <laughs> what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Hit him. But at some point, they start getting the best of him. Now, this is my thing. What y'all think? Get in the comments. Hit the like button. Um, the judge let them out on their own re reconnaissance, meaning they word. Them, them boys is out. They, out. they ain't they not locked up. So if this was a, something that the law, the judge felt like that they was totally at fault for, they would be still sitting in that jail with a bum. They got out on a word, man. That tells us a whole lot. 
Now, first and foremost, we wanna we wanna make sure you know send send love out to our trucker brother, hoping that you know his recovery go well. He get back out here on the road. He do his thing. Get through you know taking care of his family, paying his bills like we all lives. You know, it's all love for our brother. Um, but them boys is back out. The judge evidently didn't find too much fault in it. Yeah, they gotta go to court, you know, in April. But I mean, that tells us a lot. They was released on their own word. Could it be, could it be any truth in a story? Could it be any truth in a story? Could them boys be telling the truth in some kind of way, shape, form, or fashion? Because if so, now we got to look at it from a whole nother different way. Get in them comments. Let me know what you think, M2T. Um, there was also a female in the car. She wasn't charged at all. You know, she wasn't charged at all. Man, I sure hate he had to go through that, man. But sometimes a lot of us, we bring a lot of stuff on our own self. You know, you don't never know who you're dealing with on the other side of that road rage stick. You know, it's just best of, you know, yeah, man, you know, I laugh people. Ha, 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 you know, if I, I have cut people off, I'm guilty of that. You know, they come over, fuck you. <laughs> and you know what I do, him 2 t you know, I, you know, my, my bag, man, my bag, you know, I, I take responsibility because it was on me. Ain't no sense of me acting no damn fool over something that I'm responsible for. I've been cut off, you know, and I have got pissed off, but I ain't finna just be tripping with nobody. It is what it is. It's traffic. It's the interstate. It's the road. It's driving that comes with it. So at the end of the day, man, be mindful of all that you got to lose, M2T. Y'all be mindful, man. It is not worth it. You know what I mean? Road rage is a part, you know, of, of driving a truck. You know, just like driving a regular car, man. But it is one of the most common things these days that's getting a lot of people hurt and unfortunately murdered. So get in them comments, hit that like button, and let me know, let me know about what it is that y'all just saw as far as the report. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to the M2T subscribers. What's popping, fam? I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate the love, the support. Shout out to the guests. I appreciate y'all, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. Um, we're going live Sunday. M2T is going down. We got cash giveaway. We got discounts. Man, we got merch, man. <laughs> hey, if you ain't there, man, you just don't know. You, you gonna miss out on some good stuff. Now, this our first live. So, you know what I mean? Work with us. You know what I mean? Work with us, you know? We go chop it up, you know what I'm saying? And we go, you know, we go see how it go. You know what I'm saying? We go run it down. I appreciate the ones that's been getting their merch. Take pictures of you and your merch and send it to me. So I can shout you out. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all guys that's getting the merch. And the ones that's not, what is you waiting on? Get your issue, man. Get your merch. All right, you guys. Y'all know I love you. But man, it's the weekend, baby. I got to go. And I'll check y'all out Sunday on the live. You hear me? Until next time. It's your boy. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around.